Hello and welcome to Wacker Noisen Tech Talks. I'm your host and technical training manager, Jake Gaylord. Today we've got a great topic. We're going to be talking with John Freilich, our lead technical instructor, on setting neutral adjustments on medium frame skid steers, otherwise known as pump centering. John, what, uh, what would facilitate us uh, needing to do this uh, adjustment on this machine? What are the symptoms that we would see? Sure, Jake. The, there's really two symptoms you will see on the machine. The first symptom is you're in the machine, you release the park brake, and without touching any of the joysticks or the controls, the machine starts creeping forward or backwards. Okay. The second scenario is you're in the machine and you start to crank the machine. Machine starts to start up but doesn't turn completely over. Okay, so it's a no start situation. Correct, yes. All right, so what, are, what, are the, what is the first thing we need to do to start this adjustment, John? Uh, the first step is you're going to place the machine on jack stands. Next step is lift the boom up and place the safety bar in place on the boom cylinders. Okay, so we're going into the pump. So this is a mechanical adjustment. This isn't any, anything electronic. At Correct. This we're going actually on the pump, the swash plate on the pump, that or the spring packs on the pump. Okay, so we've got our machine up on jack stands. The boom is raised, the cab is tipped, and we have our safety device on the boom so nobody's going to get hurt. What's the first thing that we need to do? Sure, the first step is we're gonna remove the linkage actually from your controls, your hand sticks, to the pump itself. Once you release the, the linkage, then you're gonna be adjusting and looking for clearance basically in your spring pack on the pump. That's gonna be the first step. Okay, so we, we actually grab the, the pintle and we'll wiggle on it to see if there's any, any slop between the bracket and the spring pack itself. Correct, correct, yes. With the control linkage disconnected from the control pintles, you'll be able to grab the actual pintles and move that pintle around and see if there's actual clearance in that spring pack between the bushings and the bracket. Okay, is there a specification that we need to follow or is this uh, just, you know, a visual? So it's kind we... of a, a visual and a touch feel with the pintle itself. Okay, so we shouldn't have any, any slop per se in that, uh, in that spring pack between the brackets, correct? Correct. We've determined now, John, that we do indeed have, have slop or clearance in the spring pack between those brackets. How do we adjust that out? Sure, the first step is you're gonna loosen the jam nut and second, you're going to take the adjustment nut and loosen or back that nut off, making sure that your contact between the bushing and the spring and the bracket is tight. Okay. Once we've adjusted that slop out of the spring packs, John, tighten back down the, the jam nuts. And what do we do next? Correct. You're going to tighten the jam nuts and then basically grab that pintle again. Make sure you have no clearance between your bushing and the bracket and attach your control linkage. After you've attached your control linkage, you're gonna test the machine. So you're gonna put the cab down, boom down, get the machine off jack stands, and get in the machine, start the machine, and actually see if there's movement after releasing a park brake. Okay, how do I know if there's movement? I'm up in the air, I'm looking for the wheels to turn or not turn, is that correct? Correct, yes. All right, so let's assume that um, we've made this adjustment, we've taken that slop out, and we are still seeing the wheels turning. Um, is there a new procedure, an additional procedure after that? Yeah, so if the wheels continue to move, the next step is, since we've already centered the spring pack, the next step is we actually got to play around with the swash plate on the pump itself. Okay, so if we had completed this adjustment, we got in, we did the test, and the wheels weren't moving, do we need to continue forward at you that not, point? No. Okay, so we're done at that point. Correct. So on this machine, we, we do have wheel movement yet. So walk me through the next step, the fine-tune adjustment on the swash plate, John. Sure, Jake. So same scenario, we're going to get the machine on jack stands, tip the cab, boom in the air, and safety bar in place. Okay. We're going to re release the linkage from the controls to the pump itself, to your control pintles. After that, then you're going to loosen the jam nut on your actual adjustment bolt. You're going to start the machine up, and you're going to actually be adjusting your adjustment bolt on the pump itself. Okay, so this adjustment bolt is opposite, the opposite side of the spring pack adjustment that we just made previously. Correct, correct? yes. Okay, so the actual adjustment, are we just tightening this down, are we loosening it? You know, is it clockwise, counterclockwise? Walk me through that, please. You're, you're finding the relief on both, uh, both sides of the pump. So you're gonna adjust the adjustment bolt one direction until you hit relief. Mm -hmm. Once you hit relief, count the number of turns in the opposite direction until you hit relief again. Okay, so you keep referencing hitting the relief. So this is the, the, the pump relief valve itself. How do I know that I've, I've hit relief or gone over relief, John? When you hit pump relief, you will feel it and you will also hear the pump basically screaming okay. as you hit relief. So what that's going to do is essentially 
provide bookends on either side of the adjustment, we then need to find that neutral or middle adjustment. Is that what I'm hearing? Yes, correct. So okay. you're going to, based on a number of counts, you're going to divide that in half, and that's going to be your neutral position of the pump. So you're going to back off that adjustment bolt in the opposite direction, and you'll be in your central location. Okay, so once we've found neutral or that middle position, what next, John? You're going to tighten up your jam nut, you're going to connect your linkage to your control pintles, and again, you're going to test the machine. So put the cab down, put the boom down, and start the machine and observe any wheel or axle movement on the machine. After the park brake's been released. Correct. Okay. So that covers the, the neutral creep type uh, symptom that you had described earlier. What about a no-start scenario, John? A no-start is really, really related to the spring pack being over tightened and then that clearance between the bushing and the bracket. Okay, so we, we're essentially, because of misadjustment, the, the, the pump is stroked already and the machine sees that and it does not allow it to start. Right, the pump naturally wants to go to a stroke position. If the park brakes engage and it wants to go over to a de-stroke position, it's going to hit relief and you basically, the engine's not going to have enough power to overcome the, the pump itself. All right, John. Well, I appreciate you taking the time today to walk us through this uh, adjustment. It's not terribly hard to do, but there are some sequential steps, and we need to we needed a greater understanding of part one and part two, and you know how to how to do that properly. For more information on Wacker Noisen training, please visit our website or join our Wacker Noisen Text Club. Simply text the word W N Training to three one nine nine six for exclusive updates and offers from Wacker Noisen Training. I'm Jake Gaylord, your technical training manager and All It Takes Tech Talks host, saying goodbye for now.